Here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Jason Laird. Well, again, hopefully you had a chance to dig out all the winter weather. Clothes, shovels, gloves, you name it. It's been a little bit chilly. Heading up to Sunburst right now. It looks like a lot of the snow is finally kind of tapering off in that area, but significant accumulations there as we head into Lewistown. Still tracking some pretty decent flurries right now. Lewistown's kind of right on the edge of that batch of moisture making its way throughout central Montana. Haze. Snowing sideways there right now with a little bit of wind. Monarch, we did have some pretty heavy snow here within the last half hour. That looks to have pretty much tapered off. Nothing really reflecting off the lights. Okay, so with that said, we do still have a winter storm warning for pretty much all of central, north central Montana. As you notice, the National Weather Service has backed off on a little bit of that, but really for the most part, still pretty decent snow expected, especially into northeastern Montana. Very cold temperatures and poor travel as some wind continues into that region. So right now we're sitting at four below in Great Falls, one below in the capital. Again, that heavier moisture starting to make its way through Lewistown and continuing to track up to the north and the east here. We're going to continue to see that heavier snow make its way up into northeastern Montana here tonight, becoming a little bit more widespread, probably around midnight or so, and then uh, kind of losing a little bit of strength by Sunday morning. Can't rule out a few little light flurries, though, even here in central Montana overnight, and you really notice on the temperature contour where that cold Arctic air is planted this evening. Eight below right uh, tonight in Grave Falls. Looking at four below in the capital. Very, very cold in Cutbank. Those of you uh, taking care of calving operations right now, it's not going to be fun for you, unfortunately. So just keep that in mind with newborn livestock. As for tomorrow, well, warming up a little bit. 10 degrees in Grave Falls. 10 into Cutbank. About 14 along the High Line. Still not terrible there into northeastern Montana at about 29 degrees in Glasgow. As for snow accumulation through Sunday, we still do have the possibility of catching maybe up to an inch as a, a couple weak little flurries continue here tonight into tomorrow morning. But really, for the most part, a good chunk of that snow is going to stay into northeastern Montana here over the next couple of hours and into Sunday. So to kind of break this system down a little bit more long term here, we're up to Sunday morning now. And the whole reason we had all this snow is a big area of low pressure off of the coast. That's kind of our moisture feed. And as that area of low pressure moves inland, what it's kind of done is put a big dip in the jet stream. It's allowed for that cold arctic air to settle in. Now the thing to remember this area of low pressure is going to continue to track south more impacting the desert southwest area, which uh, might bring a little bit of rain there, but we're going to stay mostly dry at least for the first half of the week. Potentially could see a little bit of moisture try to return back to Montana Wednesday Thursday as this area of low pressure lifts up a little bit as it lifts up and kind of loses some strength that will still have the possibility of pulling a little bit of moisture our way. So again, Wednesday, Thursday can't rule out a couple of flurries there right now. I'm kind of keeping it more dry, but we'll monitor that very closely. And with that Arctic air staying in place, temperatures are going to remain a little bit chilly here even this next week. So tonight in Gray Falls, we are going to be looking at a few light flurries continuing throughout the area. Some of those continuing into Sunday morning as well. Eight degrees below zero tonight. Some wind out of the northwest, only about five to eight miles per hour. Next seven days in Gray Falls look like this. Lingering flurries here on your Sunday. Then again, getting a little bit more mild, but still staying way below average pretty much all week long. Can't rule out flurries maybe Wednesday night into Thursday, keeping a very close eye on that. As for tonight here in the capital, looking at about uh, uh, four below. Uh, with a couple of light flurries throughout the area. We're looking at uh, some wind out of the north northwest at about six to eight miles per hour. Next seven days in the capital, looking at 18 degrees. Some light flurries throughout the area. More sun, though, as we head into this next week, but still staying way below zero. Isaiah?